If you're a follower of this channel, you'll know that I just finished this series where I built this electric drift trike, or should I say slide trike? Too many of you weren't very pleased that I made the trike front wheel drive and argued that this wasn't actually drifting. So I took your comments into consideration and I just purchased this motor. Now this isn't your average brushless motor. This is a 1500 watt water cooled brushless motor. I came across this listing on eBay and I hadn't seen these motors for sale anywhere else. So I really wanted to get a hold of one. You might be thinking, is a water cooled motor really necessary for this application? I would say no, I don't need a water cooled motor but this is pretty much the same motor that I have on my electric go-kart, only it's got this water jacket around it. This motor does get very warm while I'm riding, and that's mainly because of the weight of the steel frame of this go-kart. With the drift trike, it's gonna be a lot of stop and go driving and a lot of full throttle, so the water cooling will really help keep the motor at a lower temperature. But most importantly, a water-cooled drift trike just sounds plain awesome. So the first thing I need to do is take apart all of my hard work and then figure out how I'm going to mount the motor. So let's jump right into it. All right, so now everything's taken apart, but before I do anything else, let me show you guys my water cooling system. So I have this 12 volt water pump, which pumps water through this computer radiator. From the radiator, the water moves through the motor's water jacket and into this water reservoir that I made. The hose coming out of the reservoir is connected to the inlet of the water pump, and I'm using this LiPo battery to power the pump. Okay, so here's the motor mount that I modeled up in Fusion 360. My brother has some 316 stainless steel left over from a job he did, so that's what we'll be making the mount out of. I also designed this other small mount for the water reservoir to clamp onto, and I offset the aluminum plate over the edge a little bit in order to leave a space for the chain. So now it's time to get to work. What follows is a brief construction montage.
All right, so now it's time for me to fill this thing up for the first time. I will have to plug in the pump. I've yet to install a switch for this, so I'm just plugging it in for now. Awesome. Everything seems to look pretty good other than this little kink here. Uh, there's no leaks or anything, so that's good. So let's go take this thing out for a whirl. Unfortunately, to end this video here because I still need to tweak a few things and I definitely need to work on my drifting skills so I can give you all some quality footage. It didn't take me long to realize that riding this thing definitely takes a lot of practice, especially after having it front wheel drive up until now. In the next video, I'll be measuring the trike's top speed and just testing the trike to its limits. I may also answer some questions that you guys leave in the comments below. I also want to congratulate the two winners from my hat giveaway. I have one more hat that I plan on giving away, so if you want the details on that, just check the video description below. In the meantime, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.